Today, many medicines are created using recombinant genetic technology. These high-tech methods combine DNA from two different species in a single cell. For example, the gene for human insulin can be inserted into bacterial cells to make the bacteria produce insulin. When medicines are made this way, they're called biological drugs. Over 70% of biological drugs are made in Chinese hamster ovary or Cho cells. Others are made in the bacteria E. coli. When biological drugs are produced using recombinant technology, the result is a mixture of the desired drug and unwanted impurities. Some of these impurities are host cell proteins, or HCPs. HCPs are a result of cell stress during the drug manufacturing process. Recombinant cells can function in unpredictable ways, or even undergo lysis or splitting. Some impurities are easily removed. However, HCPs can be very similar in biophysical properties or non-specifically bind to the intended drug substance. This makes them difficult to eliminate. HCPs can often evade the normal drug purification processes used by manufacturers. They're sometimes called hitchhiker proteins because they can hide among the desired substance. Unfortunately, HCPs that make it into medicine can be a problem. Even small quantities could trigger a serious immune reaction in the patient or interfere with the way the drug works. Many HCPs are enzymes. These can be a problem, especially when it comes to drug stability. As much as possible, HCPs must be removed from the drug. The finished substance should be as pure as possible. Cygnus Technologies is investigating new ways to identify HCPs in biological drugs. Pharmaceutical companies invest huge amounts of time, effort and money into developing new drugs. Part of this is making sure that HCP levels are as low as possible. Companies that make biological drugs must report the levels of HCPs in their substances. Regulators require that HCP level in biological drugs is below 100 parts per million. However, companies decide themselves on an acceptable below 100 parts per million level and extent of characterization of HCPs present in their drug. Ideally, companies should continuously monitor levels of HCPs in their drugs. This helps to show that their purification methods are consistent. Companies should not treat HCP reporting as simply a box-checking exercise. Cygnus Technologies encourages companies to aim to identify and quantify HCPs in their substances as accurately as possible. A better understanding of which HCPs can sneak past the purification process will help researchers to improve their methods. Ultimately, reducing HCPs leads to better, purer medicines and a lower risk for patients.